my name is Grace, and today we are going to read the Bible story. <laughs> the, the chapter is 34th chapter. God help Daniel. Daniel 6. Daniel 6. <laughs> King Durek's man said, King Durex is going to place Daniel in the highest position, but Daniel is a forgiver. Daniel ruled over Babylon. He was lowly and faithful. King Durek's man didn't like Daniel. They failed to find Daniel's fault. So they were three men. Like they were jealous as Daniel because Daniel was going to be in the high position. But and he is for beginner like means he is from another country but he's uh, will be the he will rule over the Babylon right so they were very jealous as Daniel so they were trying to they were trying to uh find his faults and tell to the king they asked the king to make a new rule the rule said all of you must pray and bow only to the king if you disobey you will be strong into the lion's den so the those men saw that Daniel was praying to his God, not the king. Yeah. Then praying to God, right? So they were thinking, ah, oh, this can be not right thing. We can make we can say to the king, let's make a new rule. And Daniel, if Daniel still pray to his God, he'll be strong in the Dian's dead. They were thinking. The bad people saw Daniel praying to God. Daniel knew about the new rule, but he prayed to God. The bad people saw Daniel praying to God. So those bad people, like I think they were like that. They have, they said, let's make the rule. And they have made the rule. And I think he have ran to his, Daniel's house to see. And Daniel knew the rule. He also saw the rule, but he was still praying to God. Bad people reported Daniel to the king. The king was not happy. He wanted to save Daniel, but the king had to put Daniel in the lion's den. It was a law. The king commanded them to put Daniel into the lion's den. The king said, your God will help you. People blocked the lion's den with a large stone. So, he, the king knew he was tricked by those bad men. 
and he was not feeling good because Daniel were, was his friend. So he was sad, but he have made the rule. So he must make. He must like obey. Do what in the rule? Same with the rule. So also. <laughs> The kid said, your God will help you, don't worry. The king couldn't sleep that night. He couldn't eat anything. Early next morning, the king went to see Daniel. Did your God help you, Daniel? Called the king. Yes, answered Daniel. God sent an angel to protect me from the lions. God knew I was incorrect. And he saved me. Yeah. King Darius was so happy. He ordered his men to take Daniel out from off the lion's dead. No wood was found on Daniel. Daniel trusted God. The king ordered everyone to honor and respect God. 35 chapter John learned to obey God. Jonah God sent a great wind on the sea, a violent storm arose to the boat. The boat was about to break. Jo Jonah was in the boat. Jonah was running away from God. God told Jonah to go to Ninvia to tell the God's message. Jonah didn't want to go to Ninvia. He was on his way to Tarshish. Tarshish is the Forest country to Nivea, and he was running away from God also. So the storm was coming. The people on the boat were afraid. Jonah told them that he was running away from God. He said, Throw me into the sea. God will stop this storm. People tried, tried to row <coughs> the boat to the land. It was a sails because of the strong wind and the storm. The people threw Jonah into the raining sea. Interestingly, the sea became calm. God sent him a huge fish. Swallow Yona, Jonah. Wait, that, my nose is. <laughs> Sorry. So, like God, I think God still wanted Yona to go to that land and purchase God word. He has sent a huge fish so Jonah didn't die. The big fish swallowed Jonah. Jonah. Jonah was inside the fish for three days three and three nights. Jonah prayed 
to God and the fish. Please forgive me, I have sinned. The big fish sat on Jonah on the dry land. God sent Jonah again. God and tell go and tell the people of Nivea to stop bad, doing bad things. This time Jonah obeyed God. He wanted to went to Nivea. He told God's message to the people of Nivea. Oh, this is the last story of old, the Old Testament. Okay, I will also read this. 36th chapter, A Right Offering. Malchi, Malchi. The people of Israel did bad things. They married foreigners. They didn't serve God. They didn't give right offerings to God. God wondered the people saw Malachi. Worship God with all your hearts. Give rightful offerings to God. Malta said God will punish those who doesn't serve him. God will give new strength who does who serve him and obey God. Yes, the story is still here. It is very easy. Yes, today I have read the Bible story. Oh, sorry, what happened? Yeah, I have read the Bible stories and also. Today it was finished. <laughs> yes, till here, Old Testament is finished. Mm, from next time, we will do New Testament. Then let's see in the New Testament. Bye.